This is a 2010 Volkswagen Jetta with a common rail diesel. Low power issue. The customer says that he bought this car at an auction, wrecked. He does body work himself, so he fixed the front end. And shortly after that, he got some EGR related trouble codes, maybe a DBF, DPF code. So he deleted the emissions himself. He sent the computer off to Malone Tuning in Canada and they did the software change there. But now he has a lack of power with a check engine light. So let's see what trouble codes he has. He has PO299, boost pressure regulation control not reached. And the other one's the same trouble code. Two different instances of the same trouble code. I'm wearing a hat today. I have a head wound because I uh, had a tool break. I was pulling towards my head, and when the tool broke, I hit myself in the head. It's very unattractive. <laughs> but, got a new sponsor, LKQ. No, not really. But if you want to sponsor me, that's fine. Send me send send checks to uh, coolrvwdaol.com. Anyway, this boost problem, uh, I'm pretty used to doing boost related trouble codes on TDIs. Uh, we're going to take it for a road test and graph the boost and see uh, where boost is at. Obviously, the trouble codes that we have mean that the computer is seeing less boost than it wants to see. I uh, might try and video while I'm driving, but I might just review the graph after I drive. Um, I don't want to kill anybody by looking at the computer and trying to um, video at the same time. So, see you in a second. Okay, in order to graph the boost, where we're in the trouble codes right now, down here at the bottom, we click done, go back. We go to measuring blocks and group 11. And it pulls up our data and we'll be looking at these two fields boost pressure actual and boost special specified and we click the graph button down at the bottom Let's go. and then once again as I've explained in other videos we watch the green as compared to the yellow and I'll uh, report back after the drive okay as I drove this car uh, the check engine light was already on, but as I drove it, the glow plug light started flashing and it triggered another trouble code. PO 26A charge air cooler efficiency below threshold trying to get a shot of the smoke that comes out of this thing when when it has a boost leak like this there we go finally got it look at all that smoke back there okay I've went over these graphs before uh, but maybe viewers haven't watched my previous videos but here the red line is um, RPM and the green line is commanded boost. The yellow is actual boost. The yellow is down here at the bottom. Uh, this is one wide open throttle pull where I floor it and the RPM does go up. And the computer expects to see this much. It's commanding this much and expects the yellow line to be that much. But the yellow line never goes up because there's a huge boost leak. Um, you can see that with the smoke that I showed. Um, you probably wouldn't need to graph it, but I always do anyway, just to know exactly what's going on. Uh, yellow line should come up, be a reasonable approximation of what the green line is. Uh, this isn't going up at all. That means it has a, a large boost leak. All the boost is just going out into the atmosphere. Should be pretty easy to find the boost leak. One other thing I did want to show, though, on this graph here, this is after the trouble code has triggered meaning the computer noticed the boost problem, the computer went into limp mode, and now boost only comes up to this high, whereas before it was going all the way up to about here. Uh, the actual still doesn't go up, but it's only expecting this much boost. 
it does limit the amount of boost that it uh, commands when it's in lit mode with the trouble code so you don't get as much um, boost command during lit mode and also the smoke that you saw in the previous um, isn't there it doesn't give enough fuel to where it makes that smoke okay after the code triggers the smoke doesn't happen anymore because the computer controls boost by cutting fuel see there there's no smoke now still have a severe lack of power maybe even worse because the computer ain't given as much fuel now just as I thought the boost look would be hard to find hose is completely off right here all our boost is coming out of the intercooler just going out into the atmosphere rather than going up the pipe here to uh, make it into the intake manifold front car had been wrecked and some of the front end parts replaced maybe this was never seated after uh, the repairs and it popped out so we'll put that back together clear the code and see what happens there we go Okay, after reconnecting the boost tube, I drove the car and it runs much better. The smoke is massively reduced, but there's still more smoke than there should be. So I graph boost and once again, the green line is requested boost from the computer. Yellow line is actual boost. Uh, still ain't making the amount of boost that it should. So there's still another boost leak. I can hear a little bit of whistling so I think it's got a smaller boost leak now. Obviously it's able to hold boost a little bit, uh, but it should be way up there. So we'll uh, take a look for another boost leak. Okay, we're looking for the smaller boost leak. There's some oil here on this tube and it's broken away from its bracket. That probably indicates there's a boost leak there. But there's also oil over here on this. And this is where I'm hearing the noise from. Go ahead. Also seeing some smoke coming from this connection here. So we'll take this apart and see what's going on there. Maybe the plastic is cracked on it or I think that has an o-ring seal inside of it. Maybe the o-ring seal is a problem. Here's our seal for the uh, intercooler piping. And there we've installed it. Clip in position, I'll pop that together. Still need to get the other pipe. Okay, on this 2010 with the boost leak, uh, I took a video of this in the car, but I cannot find the video, so now I'm showing you uh, with the pipe. I also lost the video of the installation of this pipe, but this pipe was the final problem. Uh, you can see I got smoke leaking from where I got the smoke machine hooked to it at, but right there is the problem you see the smoke coming out of that crack and I identified that in the car that crack it almost looks the same as that right there which is a seam in the plastic the crack runs all the way up through there and that's actually a pretty significant boost leak there I couldn't see it without the smoke machine because this right here is just a seam in the plastic so it look, that crack looks like another seam just right next to it. Now this area was oily and slimy. So uh, I did kind of indicate that there was a boost leak there. Uh, this car had three boost leaks. All of them related to the front end collision that had been repaired. And, but this here 
Uh, the bracket on this was broken. I showed you that in the video before. But I lost the video where I smoke checked this in the car, so I thought I'd smoke test it here and show you there what uh, leak I found in the car. Okay, I wanted to show how much this opened up because when this tube is under boost, it you know it's pressurized and uh, it would open up well just like that as uh, Mariah flexes it there. Um, you can see that it does open up, and that would do the same thing under boost and really have a massive boost leak. I just got done with the road test and it runs really, really good. I think I mentioned that this car's been tuned and it's got a lot of boost. It can break the tires loose at will from a stop. I took a graph of uh, good working boost control and I'll go over that with you in just a minute. And uh, no smoke, no codes reoccurring, runs really, really good. So all the problems with this were just related to boost leaks. There were several different ones, uh, all of them related to the crash in the front end. Okay, I wanted to show good working boost control on this 2010 TDI. Um, green is uh, specified boost or what the computer is commanding. Green comes up just like this. This is one wide open throttle pull as I've reviewed in other videos. Uh, when I floor it, boost comes up to this level. Computer expects actual boost to come up to this level. It does, it comes up quickly and it regulates it right at approximately the, the level the computer is commanding. And then as I back off the throttle, it, it lets off. Uh, the scaling is different on this. Um, I had to change it to uh, 3,000 millibar uh, because uh, this car's been tuned and so it was going almost to the top of the line and so it made it harder to read. So I changed the scaling. So if you compare that to what I showed in other graphs, it'll be slightly different. But this is the way it should behave. Obviously when we had the, a massive boost leak, uh, actual boost was way down here, never came up at all. Once we sealed up that massive boost leak and just had smaller boost leaks, boost did come up but never reached the level of the computer's command. And we fixed those two boost leaks and now the car runs good. Well, another fixed car. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe and take a look at my website at www.kansascitytdi.com.